Measurement of Capacity Children, you have read about capacity in your previous classes. The quantity of liquid like water, milk, oil, a container can hold is called its capacity. Different containers have different capacity. Obviously, bigger vessels have more capacity and smaller vessels have less capacity. Do you know the capacity of your water bottle? Let us see how to find this out. Take an empty glass and fill it with water completely. Pour this water into your water bottle. Repeat the above step till your water bottle gets filled completely. If you pour four complete glasses of water to fill the water bottle completely, it means its capacity is four glasses. The standard unit for measuring capacity is litter. Smaller capacities are measured in milliliters. In short, we write litter as L and milliliter as ML. In fact, there are 1000 milliliters in one liter. So, one liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. Two containers of different shapes may have equal capacity. To convert liter into milliliter, we multiply by 1000. For example, to convert 12 liters into milliliter, we multiply 12 by 1000. To convert 6 liter 245 milliliter into milliliter, we first multiply 6 by 1000 to get 6000. Then we add 245 to 6000 to get 6245 milliliters. To convert milliliter into liter, we divide by 1000. For example, to express 24034 milliliter into liter, we first write it as 24,000 milliliter plus 34 milliliter. Then we divide 24,000 by 1,000 to get 24 liter 34 milliliter. So 24,034 milliliter is equal to 24 liters. 34 milliliter. Let us now discuss how to add or subtract the measures of capacity. Let us add 18 liters 635 milliliter and 15 liter 540 milliliter. We first arrange the measures in their columns. Then we add milliliter. So 635 milliliter plus 540 milliliter is equal to 1175 milliliters. This is equal to 1000 milliliter plus 175 milliliter which is equal to 1 liter and 175 milliliter. So now we write 175 under the milliliter column and carry over 1 to the liter column. 
Finally, add the letters. So, 1 liter carried plus 18 liters plus 50 liters is equal to 69 liters. Hence, the required sum is equal to 69 liters 175 milliliters. Let us now subtract 65 liter 300 milliliters from 114 liters 175 milliliters. As usual, we first arrange the measures in columns. Now subtract the milliliters. But 175 is less than 300. So we regroup 114 liter and 175 milliliter as 113 liter and 1000 plus 175 milliliter or 113 liters and 1175 milliliters. Now, 1175 milliliter minus 300 milliliter is equal to 875 milliliter. Finally, subtract the liters. So, 113 liter minus 65 liter is equal to 48 liter. So, the required difference is 48 liters 875 milliliters.